Sir. Thank you. <laughs> and today, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton again defending the administration's response to the Libya attack. The Independent Accountability uh, Review Board is already hard at work looking at everything, not cherry picking, you know, one story here or one document there, but looking at everything, which I highly recommend as the appropriate approach to something as uh, complex as uh, an attack like this. Former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice once held Secretary Clinton's job. Secretary Rice, um, thank you for joining us. And tell me, what do you think of the State Department's response to Libya? Well, clearly, uh, I want to start by saying that uh, the emails and everything else just show again that our diplomats uh, are in very dangerous places. And it reminds us that uh, people like Ambassador Chris Stevens uh, give the last full measure on behalf of their country. And so that's the first thing to remember. Secondly, the accountability review board to which the secretary uh, responded will indeed uh, take a look at whether or not the uh, preparations were adequate, given what was known about the intelligence picture. I myself have received reports from accountabil accountability review, bo review boards, and uh, that will be the purpose of those investigations. There's then the issue of what intelligence agencies, uh, people on the ground, did or did not know about what was going on. And there, I know that uh, Chairman Mike Rogers uh, wants the intelligence committees to look at questions of uh, what the intelligence committees knew, what the intelligence community knew, how they communicated that to uh, policymakers, and that's the appropriate venue uh, for that discussion. If, you, if, if there's a problem at a U.S. embassy, just a, a general course, and I realize that each, each uh, incident is unique, but if there is a problem in an embassy, what, what, is, what happens first? Is there some sort of protocol that the, the, uh, foreign emb the embassy notifies the State Department? What's, what's the process? Well, clearly, there is a notification to the State Department through the Operations Center uh, that there is trouble uh, at an embassy. And uh, then the Operations Center will try to ascertain what is happening, uh, will notify the relevant officials. Uh, so there is a protocol. But when things are unfolding very, very quickly, uh, it's not always easy to know what is really going on on the ground. And to my mind, uh, the really important questions here are about how information was uh, collected. Did the various agencies really coordinate and share intelligence in the way that we had hoped with the reforms that were made after 9-11? So there's a big picture to be examined here, uh, but we don't have all of the pieces. And uh, I think uh, it's, it's easy to try and jump to conclusions about what might have happened here. It's probably better to let the relevant bodies do their work. If there were, let's say, if there's an attack on an embassy, though, would a relevant, it says it goes to relevant officials that the operations center would make that determination. Would that be, if there's, if there's something violent going on in an embassy, would you expect that to go all the way up to the Secretary of State and beyond? Well, I uh, think that it would, but um, under the circumstances, um, I can't tell you where the information uh, was passed, probably with an attack of this magnitude, it would have gotten to the very highest officials. Uh, but the problem is, when there is a fog of war like this, uh, there are a lot of competing uh, stories coming in, there's a lot of competing information coming in, and it takes a little while to know precisely what has happened. If there were a problem here at Fox, I've been here 11 years, I'd probably say, well, you know, the first thing I'd want to know is I want to look at certain you know, logs or certain protocols or something that's sort of unique to Fox. If you were, if you were investigating this you could, and you wanted to know what happened, is that, would you look at an email trail or what, what is sort of internal to our diplomatic uh, procedures that you would look for? Well, I think that the Accountability Review Board will want to look at what the embassy was communicating about the situation on the ground what the State Department was doing in response to the communication about what was going on on the ground, and not just what happened that particular night, uh, but what signs there were of trouble uh, earlier on, what did the intelligence picture look like, uh, because you, you can't simply keep your uh, diplomats in a bunker. They have to get out and do their work. But you want to make certain that you're taking the right safety precautions for them uh, as well, and that's the kind of work that the Accountability Review Board will do. But there are protocols in place. I have no reason to believe that they weren't followed, uh, but it is not very easy in circumstances like this to know precisely what's going on as it's unfolding. 
All right, I want to ask you about the women vote, but one more question on Libya. I'm just sort of curious because I have no sort of senses. Yeah, for instance, let's take uh, the uh, how many how many emails would you expect in a given day from a consulate in a troubled area? Just so I have sort of a universe. I realize that you know nothing is perfectly you know anticipated, but is it ten? Right, is it hundred? I mean, and how big is the traffic? Well, it would be a lot, and uh, not just emails, but uh, cables from the embassies as well, maybe even phone calls from the embassies. I'm quite certain that uh, when circumstances like this are unfolding, there is uh, a lot of information flowing in, and it's flowing in very rapidly. It's flowing in from multiple sources. And I want to emphasize again, Greta, one of the problems we had with 9-11 and that we sought to fix was the coordination between all of the various agencies that would have been reporting on something like this. The intelligence agencies back in Washington, the intelligence agencies on the ground, uh, what was being reported from the Tripoli embassy as opposed to the consulate that was under attack. And we worked very hard to make sure that all of this was shared, put together in a way that policymakers could use it. Now, I think Chairman Rogers will want to look at whether or not this is indeed working. And uh, we have to make sure that it's working. Uh, but that's really the question that's on my mind, is uh, how good was the coordination? And did all of those changes that we made after 9-11 uh, really serve us well? OK, you've been on a campaign trail with uh, the Republican ticket. I'm curious, there, there appears to be, at least the polls say, a show a gender gap. Uh, the women vote, do you have a thought about uh, this gender gap? Well, the polls certainly show a, a gender gap, but I will tell you when I go out and I talk to women across the country, uh, they are impressed with uh, what Governor Romney and uh, Congressman Ryan are saying about issues that matter to them uh, as much as they matter to all citizens. People want jobs. So many women are unemployed, particularly women of the middle class. Women are small business owners. Uh, they want an environment in which small business is not going to be overtaxed and overregulated and have mandates that it can't fulfill because they want to hire uh, people. Women are, of course, uh, mothers of uh, those college students who are unemployed and are not finding jobs despite their brand new, brand new minted uh, college degree. And so I find uh, that women are concerned about the very issues to which uh, Governor Romney and Congressman Ryan are speaking. Now, to the degree that uh, there is concern about what is, can broadly be called the social issues, um, I would like to say to people that um, I am uh, not always in agreement with everything that's written in the Republican platform about social issues. But I know that Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan are going to respect the views of those who may disagree on these issues. They're going to take that into account. And uh, I'm quite comfortable uh, that those who talk about a war on women uh, are not in just engaging in hyperbole. Um, I think it, it's, uh, it's far worse than that. It is uh, condemning people who are going to be reasonable and uh, who are going to take into account the views of those with whom they don't agree. Secretary Rice, always nice to see you. Um, hope to see you again soon. Take care. Thank you.